Are you struggling to display the volume section in your Google Charts annotation chart? You're not alone. Many users face this issue, and today we're going to solve it together. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when your chart doesn't look quite right. You expect it to display all the necessary data, but something is missing. This is a common challenge for many developers. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how do I add a volume section to my Google Charts annotation chart? They provided their current code, but couldn't figure out how to include that crucial volume data. Sound familiar? Let's dive into the solution. To understand the issue, we need to recognize that the volume section is essential for displaying additional data points in your chart. Without it, your chart may not convey the full story of your data. Let's break down how to add that section and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip on how to enhance your charts even further. You won't want to miss it. To include the volume section in the user's annotation chart, the first step is to add an additional column to the data table for volume. This will allow the chart to display volume data alongside the other metrics. Next, the user should update the data rows to include volume values. This means adding a volume value for each date entry in the data array. After updating the data, the user needs to adjust the chart options to ensure the volume section is displayed correctly. This can be done by modifying the options object. Finally, the user should redraw the chart with the updated data and options. This will render the chart with the new volume section included. Fun fact, did you know that the first charts were created in the 18th century? They were hand-drawn and took hours to complete. Thankfully, we have technology to do that for us now. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user points out that the annotation chart does not support a volume section directly. However, they suggest a workaround by creating a separate chart for the volume. To do this, you would need to disable the annotation chart's range filter and implement your own chart range filter. They also mention that the annotation chart may not redraw correctly after applying and removing filters. To fix this, you should recreate the annotation chart each time it is drawn. Here's a pro tip. Always double check your data structure when working with charts. A small oversight can lead to missing information, just like the volume section in your chart. And there you have it. Your Google Charts annotation chart should now display the volume section perfectly. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks on data visualization.